So, Amy, are you ready for the next set of the Lego Disney minifigures? Yep. And this is the last one, too. Cool. Okay, this pack contains Buzz Lightyear. Now, the way you know that it's Buzz Lightyear, first of all, you might uh, feel his wings. There's two separate ones. They're fairly small and, of course, flat. And a little... Um, and you might feel like the little jet packs on the end of them. They're not very big. Um, you also might feel uh, his canopy. Now, um, the canopy doesn't cover him, doesn't cover his helmet uh, completely. It's only a quarter. It's not a half like you would think. Um, but the main way to tell that it's Buzz is the top of his spacesuit. And that slides over um, over his shoulders. It's kind of like, like a football player's shoulder pads. And you can feel um, it's kind of round at the top and it also um, has like the void in between uh, the front and the back part where it, where it actually slides over his shoulders. Um, so you can feel that and you'll see it in a second here. All right. So here is his torso and his legs, and then we take his spacesuit, okay, and see that's the front of it, that slides over the top like that, and then you can put his head on, maybe facing the right way, okay, and see his canopy is only, um, only a quarter, that doesn't cover completely, and it kind of just snaps in there. All right, and then the wings slide in here. You can see there's a pin and they just, you can see how they slide in there like that. And there's Buzz. Okay, so here's a close-up of Buzz. Again, you can see the top of his spacesuit. It's, you can feel that it, it's pretty much round. Okay, and there's the uh, quarter canopy. And there you can see his wings. Which you can feel those. Just remember there's not, they're not as big as you would think. The biggest thing for me is, is when, I feel, uh, when I feel the top of his spacesuit there. That's how I know it's him. Okay, this pack contains uh, the little little green alien, this guy right here. Now, he does not have any accessories, so really there's only two things. Um, first of all, he's a shorter one, so he's got the, uh, the child legs, and you can tell those, but he's not the only one that has the child legs. And the other way is feeling his head, okay? Now, and on his head, it's kind of oval-shaped. Uh, you might feel the eyes, but you can definitely feel uh, the little antenna, and I can kind of feel it right here. All right? So, and you might feel his little pointed ears. But that's the only that's the only definite thing, but you can definitely tell uh you know when when you feel when you feel the head that it's that it's him. Okay? So, short legs and the body and there's his head. Ooh. Okay, this is a close-up again of the little green alien. And really, like I said, the only thing that you can feel to know that it's him is, is his head. You can see his eyes bulge out a little bit, um, his pointy ears. But the main thing is that antenna, and that's um, you can definitely feel that, no question about it. And he's got the child legs. All right, so there he is. All right, this pack contains Stitch. Like the alien, he has child legs and doesn't have any accessories. But, similar to the alien, you can really feel his head. It's nice, ovally, circular shape, and but the really main thing is his ears. They're, wa they're like big, wide, flat cups almost. More like glass cases, glasses cases. That's what they feel like, mini, glasses cases on either side of his head, or both. I really don't understand that saying. Yeah. 
Here we have him. Okay, here's your close up of Stitch. And again, no accessories and short child legs like the green alien and also like the green alien. The only way to know for sure is feeling his head. There you can see a little bit the shape of his head, his nose sticking out a little bit. Uh, but the biggest thing are those ears, and you can definitely feel those. And they're a little bit uh, concave. You can definitely feel the inside of them there a little bit. And again, uh, kind of like handles, but there, you can, you can definitely feel there. All right, there he is. Okay, this pack contains Mr. Incredible. Now, Mr. Incredible has one accessory, and that's uh, his poster, um, I think, of, of the Supers. And it's, again, that 2x2 that two two flat tile. And But Syndrome has a 2x2 a two two tile also. So really, the only way that you know that it's Mr. Incredible is by feeling the hair. Um, the hair piece, it's, it's much smaller than Syndrome's. Um, and really, that, that's all you have to go by. But if you feel that uh, two by two tile, then you know it's either him or syndrome. And then just feel the hair. All right. Oh. And see now, sometimes, see now, this, this is a little tricky. The, uh, his two by two uh, tile, this was actually stuck on the uh, the base plate so but I could feel it through there um, but it, it's a little confusing when it's stuck to the base plate but sometimes that's gonna happen so there's his head there it is. and you can see his hairpiece uh, is much smaller If I can get it on, there it is. And there's his poster. Okay, so here's the close-up of Mr. Incredible. Again, he's got uh, his poster there um, of the Supers doing their part. And other than that, the only way that you know it's him is that hairpiece, which is much smaller than Syndrome's wild hairpiece. Right, and there you see this hair piece from both sides. And that's Mr. Incredible. All right, here we have Syndrome. And he's very extremely similar to Mr. Incredible. He has this, he even has the same accessory. Now Syndrome does have a cape, but once again, as we've said before, don't bother trying to feel the capes. You can't. The difference between Syndrome and Incredible are their hair pieces. And, and Syndrome's is bigger and poofier. You know, it's still a hard piece, not like rubbery, but you can definitely feel a difference between the two. It's kind of almost like a big water drop that kind of splits off. It looks like fire, so that's what you can think of it as, like a, a fire. I am an eternal flame. And he, once again, ha and he has the two by two tile, which is the plans for the Omnidroid. Gosh, I hope I didn't get that wrong. And here we go. Okay, here's a close up of Syndrome. And again, he's got the uh, two by two uh, tile, the plans for the Omnidroid. Same tile that Mr. Incredible has. And like Amy said, don't even think about uh, trying to feel the uh, cape. You can't do it. You have to go by the hair. Okay, that shows the back of the hair. All right, it's pointy at the top. And that's the way that you know it's Syndrome as opposed to Mr. Incredible.